So what's up YouTube? I am back. Uh, today I'm going to do something a little bit fun. Um, playing around with statement lips. I'm going to do my red lip product collection. So um, before we get started actually, I just want to give you a few tips. Um, so first with liners, I use my NYX Retractable Red or Rouge um, for almost all my red lipsticks. It is a blue toned. It's fairly dark. It does come off more as a berry though. But I just line that out. Um, for some people who don't know the point of lip liners, it is just um, to sort of, sort of like make a pathway of where the lipstick should end and should not cross over that line. Um, it also helps to like kind of sculpt out how your lips should look. Make sure that after you apply the lipstick on, it will be even because sometimes it's hard with like the tube to correctly. Um, fill out the space so this is just before you put on your lipstick it just kind of helps you just like get in your lipstick mode of like all right this is gonna look good this is all gonna match you know or whatever so um that's the point of lipstick and so i'll use this one for most of them i also have my milani bonfire that i talked about this is more of a true red so if i'm going for some of my revlon ones that i'll show you that are more true red or like sort of orange toned rather than blue toned um i'll use the bonfire so that is that. Oh, I'll show you also another trick. So to make sure it doesn't get on your teeth, as you see, I don't think anything's on them. No, I'm looking good. But um, to kind of make sure that doesn't happen to you throughout the day, or if you're just kind of worried about it or something, you know, obviously you can always like lick your teeth to make sure there's nothing on them. But to keep it from happening, I usually do this little trick, which is going to look pretty kind of weird. But um, I just put my finger right here, and I just pull it through. And like there'll be like a little bit of red on my finger, and I'll just kind of wipe that off, you know. And it just makes sure that there's no red that has kind of seeped into the mouth part um, for the, the teeth part, you know. So um, that works for me. Anyways, let's get into the lip products. All right. So first off, I right now I'm wearing my favorite lipstick that I already <laughs> mentioned, my, my Perfect True Red um, for me. My MAC Ladybug. I already showed this in my MAC Lipsticks uh, collection. Love it. So also my lighting is kind of like like lighting or like comets I don't know what's happening but um I hope it's not annoying anyway so that is that then I'll go through my lip my Revlon lips I guess so this is love that red this is more of a true red orange tone this is what I would use my Milani bonfire liner it with let's see I'll do it on this arm so you can see that swatch there you are so yeah, that is 725, love that red, Revlon. Um, I do like the Revlon formulation formulas. These are these are pretty good. The matte ones used to be really cool. I feel like they discontinued those, though, which makes me really sad because I can't find them anywhere. But um, yeah, these ones are good, too. This is Fire and Ice. The reason I bought this one was because it was in a magazine, honestly, talking about how this is, I believe, the longest color they've had for Revlon that was a red. And they, they had this back in, like... I'm not even going to pretend like I remember which decade, but like 30s or 40s or 20s or, or 50s or who knows, something like that. But anyways, this was like a classic red that they were talking about, so I went out and bought it. But anyways, it is almost exactly the same as Love That Red, honestly. I do not need to own both of them. If you don't own two or if you already own one, you don't probably don't need to go buy, out and buy the other one. Um, or just choose one if you're going to get one. Yeah, you probably don't need both. I, I really don't need both. But I just have them. and I'll, But I do like it in case, like, one of them runs out. I'll have another um, true orange tone red. So that works for me. Oh, okay. So this is Revlon also. These are the lip butters. Comes in, like, the quilted packaging. Um, these are really cool. People raved about these when they first came out, and everyone was all kind of, like, crazy. I only like a few of the colors. Um, this one's definitely nice, though. This is called... This is in 35 Candy Apple. What I like about these is that they are very sheer tone, and it's kind of a nice way to play up your lips and kind of have more of like a statement color without a statement lipstick in the sense of I am wearing a lipstick. And if you feel like that's just too formal, or if you want to wear a red for every day, but you don't want to look formal every single day, then I would say um, a Revlon lip butter might be for you. Um, so there it is. It's more um, sheer, obviously, very similar in coloring just sheerer and it's very moisturizing it's almost like you're wearing sort of like a lip gloss without it being glossy um, but it's in that sort of a sense where it's more casual and more wearable this is the same kind of idea but this is in wild watermelon number 63 
And I honestly don't know why they have these numbers. There are obviously not 63 or 70 whatever of them. I don't know why they have the numbers. But um, So this is more of a pink toned for sure. Still a red, but just more of a pink toned. And I do really like that one as well. It's nice for like summer looks and stuff. And okay, so then this is my CoverGirl. It comes in like this tube. They don't really have names. They might, but as far as I can tell, nobody really knows. But this packaging is pretty like obvious. You can, if you see it, you know what, what it is. It's the only one that looks like this. It's very sleek. It's like a grayish tone, silver. Anyways, this is 305 Hot Passion. This is highly pigmented. Highly pigmented. Very impressed with this for a drugstore lipstick. It's highly pigmented without being drying, which you don't get you don't get a lot in drugstore lipsticks. So that is really cool. Yeah, that is the darkest, most highly pigmented of all of them. Um, gorgeous. Definitely for formal occasions or if you're just trying to spice up your look wearing like a nice little black dress or whatever. So that is pretty. I like that one. Oh, I love these. So these are the Rimmel Show Off. When they first came out, they first came out in the UK and, like, the UK area, or, like, you know, in Europe, um, and they were called the Rimmel Apocalypse line, and, and I really thought that was really cute, like, Apocalypse, you know, Apocalypse, it's spelled, like, Lips, L-I-P-S, I thought that was so cute, and I actually saw Essie Button was the first person I saw talking about them, and she loved this shade, this is called Big Bang, for whatever reason, when they brought, when they brought them over to the US, they started calling them Show Off, I don't really know why, everyone seems to like apocalypse better it's like trend it, not trendy it's like cute you know and easy to remember um but for whatever reason they changed the name so whatever this is a liquid lipstick which i never really tried until i bought this one i really like it because i am not a big lip gloss girl honestly i just like the mint kind but other than that I'm not really a lip gloss kind of wearer but this dries to be like a lipstick it does not dry matte it is not a liquid matte lipstick it's just a liquid lipstick but it does dry to like feel like a lipstick, like you're wearing a lipstick. But it comes in a little tube with a doe foot applicator, as I showed you. And that's the color. So that is gorgeous. And this is all the only red in the Rimmel Show Off or Rimmel, Rimmel Apocalypse line. It's the only red one. There are other colors. And I'll probably show you that one and do a review later on. Because I really do love those lip products. So, but that's the only red. Alright, so then I'll talk about my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. These are great. I love these. These are like, I think like six bucks. Um, you can get them at Ulta. That's the only place I can find NYX. I don't know where else they might be sold. I don't know. Cruelty free product, as I said. Dries um, matte. This is in Monte Carlo. It's like a darker red. But honestly, you have to put, like there's one coat. And you have to put quite a few coats, which I don't mind. But, um, you know, it's, so it's not as pigmented as it could be. But it is a really, really nice product. Something I wanted to say about it, it smells really, 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 really good. And, like, some people don't like the NYX, um, the way that their lip products smell. Here, I'll show you the swatch. So that's it, a little bit darker. It's like a dark, sort of berry red, but dark. Still a red. Still a red. But, like, more of a blue tone berry shade. But anyways, um, some people don't like the smell of these products. I will talk about my lip gloss ones later. I have one or two of them. But just because I don't like the way that they smell, the other the other one, not this one, but the other one, they do smell like cough syrup. When I originally bought it, um, just because it's so different from anything else, I thought that I really liked it, honestly. I was like, oh, this smells like really sweet, really good. And all it took was just one other person mentioning the fact that it kind of smelled like cough syrup, and that just kind of ruined it forever for me. I, I never got back to that, oh, this smells good, sweet kind of thing. It was just a, this smells bad, sweet kind of thing. So, no, I don't like the smell of that. Do like the smell of this one. It smells good. All right, so then this is just an Ulta brand product. Obviously, you can buy them at Ulta. Um, this is the Lip Crayon in Muse. They just look like this. These are really easy for, like, on the go. Throw it in your purse. I just want to wear, like, a simple red. This is kind of sheer. Definitely not too formal. But I can just kind of play up a look or add to, like, whatever outfit you're wearing. So, anyways, that's that. This is kind of getting difficult to show you. But, um... Anyways, yeah, you saw this. You can see the swatch. Maybe I'll do it this way. Huh, more. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> um, I guess that works. But anyway, so then there's that one. Uh, so then this is a Stila freebie I got at Ulta when I spent 
I don't know if it was how much I spent on Stila products. Maybe it was just a day when if you bought any Stila products, you got a freebie. I don't really know how I ended up with this one. But I earned a little freebie, and so they threw it in for me. This is Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. And then it says, like, Rouge à lèvres liquide. I don't know. I do not speak French or um, whatever language that is. I'm assuming French. I don't know. I don't speak that. So I think the name is just no name, I guess. Oh, beso, which means kiss. So beso 10 is the name. So that's, that's Spanish, maybe Italian. Maybe it's an Italian then. Italian similar to Spanish. I don't know. But anyways, that's the color. There, right there. See, that's a bit more pricey. I really do like the smell of this though. It smells almost the same as the next one. Very good. Um, and yeah, it's a little bit just of like a true red but darker orange tone red all right so this is my mac dare to wear lip gloss i have had this one honestly for like four years and i should probably throw it out at this point it's just that this is my first mac product i ever owned my mom actually gave me money to buy this i believe it was twenty dollars i think all their mac lip glasses are twenty dollars um and it comes with like a nice sleek long tube i just can't part with it yet i probably will at some point and i really should i don't wear it because it's probably too old to wear at this point i have however um disinfected it with like rubbing alcohol on like the ends and even like tried to kind of spray inside um just to let you know if you use rubbing alcohol for your product it doesn't ruin the smell there's some like debate on whether or not it changes like the quality of the product in any way I don't know. It, you know, um, rubbing alcohol just kind of evaporates anyway, so I don't know if it changes anything. I do not use it on my powders, though. As a side note, I do not use it on powder powder products in any way, but just lip products, like lipstick and stuff, and then I tried it with this. So anyways, this is really pretty, very shimmery. The only, I think the only shimmery red I own. I don't wear it, though, so there you go. I did love it, though, when I first got it. I wore it, like, all the time. I thought of it kind of as, like, my Dorothy lipstick or something. Um, it does remind me of, like, the Wizard of Oz. Dorothy. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, the sparkle's not really coming off. But it's short, just sort of like a... Not really a red or a silver. More... Or, I'm sorry, a gold or a silver shimmer. It's just more of a red shimmer. Just shimmery. Kind of like a cherry. Like a pretty cherry. Alright, I'm going to start putting them on this arm now. <laughs> um, but anyways... So, this is an Urban Decay Super Saturated High Gloss Lip Color in Theodora. This came with the Limited Edition Theodora Palette. You can buy them on eBay still. Um, that's where I got mine. It is a little bit more expensive than it was when um, the palettes first came out, but I missed the wagon on that. The wagon, the bus, I don't know. I missed it when they first came out, so I had to buy it on eBay uh, from the seller brand new still, but a little bit more expensive. Um, anyways, so this is called Theodora, so I'm guessing this is also Limited Edition. But you can probably find something similar. So that's just a really crappy swatch. Sorry. But, um, yeah, that does look really crappy. Maybe I'll just, like, kind of rub that. There you are. Anyways, that's just red. It's a lip crayon type idea. I'm, I don't particularly like those, but they are nice because you can just, if you're on the go, you haven't had time to put on your lipstick, but you know you want to wear red, you just grab it, throw it in your purse, and run out the door and you can just apply it like in the car or whatever and they are a lot simpler to use and then you also don't need to use a lip liner with them necessarily because it's already in that sort of shape so it's easier to work with with the whole lining out and not getting outside the lines and off your lips type thing so that's nice I do like that um, and then here is the last like liquid e product this is a, my lime crime velveteen in red velvet yes red velvet I was really excited to get this in the mail um, it is like a liquid lipstick that, that dries matte. Um, oh, it smells so good. It smells like chocolate, like white chocolate or like red velvet cake. Yeah, that's what it smells like. But all of them actually have the same scent. So they, I guess they all just smell like red velvet cake. But, um, this is probably the most pop popular of the velveteen ones because it is just a gorgeous, formal, true, orange, orange toned, beautiful red so pigmented you only need one application of this just one swipe gorgeous dries matte stays on it it does become a little bit tacky though and i don't know um exactly how you could fix that problem maybe adding a gloss on top of it like a red gloss or a clear gloss i don't know it doesn't it doesn't really bother me because it's not 
like super sticky. It's just kind of tacky when you put your lips together after it dries. But um, it is like a nice matte color, beautiful, smells good, nice packaging. The newer packaging kind of looks like, it reminds me of like Christmas time, I don't know. But these are nice Lime Crime. These are like, I think 20 bucks. Um, so it is a high-end makeup company, and it is cruelty-free, so that is why a lot of people like this brand. So that is nice. And then my last two things, I'm not really going to do swatches, but these are the Revlon Just Bitten Lip Stain and Balm combos. These are cool. These are nice. They're drugstore. Um, the stain is just right here. This is in uh, Gothic. I really like this one because it looks a little bit dark, but it does just come off as a true red. It's very nice. The Balm. Um, it's very moisturizing. Doesn't smell like anything. Um, I don't particularly like it. It's just like a balm that you would wear for anything else. But it, it does hydrate um, and make this color last on your lips. And then this one is in Flame. This looks like a true red. Like, this looks like this is like red. Like this is what red is. It is a little bit more berry tone though. Honestly, it has more like sort of like a pink undertone. Like a pink comes off as pink sort of um this one actually ended up drying out really fast and i think it just might be because i was wearing it almost every day this one still has product in it so i do still wear this one on occasion i bought these actually because my boyfriend does not like lipstick or lip products um really of any sort he puts up with it and he's not really about rude about it in any way but you know it's kind of annoying um the transfer, you know, kiss me, and then now he is suddenly wearing lipstick, so that is a kind of strange dynamic, but, you know, couples work that out anyway, so, anyway, if you are having that sort of thing in your love life, where you just are tired of, um, putting makeup on your boyfriend or whatever, any sort of balm stain is nice, I like these, Woo! I like these in particular. And so that is it. That is it for my reds collection. I do have a lot of like pinks and other colors that are similar to reds. I'll do a different collection on those colors, but I just wanted to stay more to like true reds. So anyways, um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun making it. I love red. Red is just beautiful. It's very nice to like brunettes, but, but anyone, everyone loves a nice red statement lip. So anyways, I hope that you are having a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.